Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarun Kumar Patel, Assistant Professor Biotechnology from Sant Guru Hasidas Government PG College, Kurud, District Dhamtari, Chhattisgarh. Today we are going to discuss on a topic bubble shot. This topic will be useful for MSc Biotechnology, Second Semester, Paper FIP, Biostatistics, Bioinformatics and Computers in Biotechnology. Unit 3. Second topic, computer-oriented statistical techniques. Let's see the introduction. Bubble sort is basically a simple algorithm which is used mainly to short a given set of elements provided in the form of an array with n number of elements. It is known as bubble short because the largest element in the given array bubbles up towards the last place or the highest index just like a water bubble rises up to the water surface. Sorting takes place by stepping through all the elements one by one and comparing it with the adjacent elements and swapping them if required. Bubble short has been occasionally referred to as sinking sort because one may consider this algorithm from two different but equally valid perspectives. The first perspective may be the larger values might be regarded as heavier and therefore be seen to progressively sink to the bottom of the list. Whereas the second perspective might be the smaller values might be regarded as lighter and therefore be seen to progressively bubble up to the top of the list. Let's see how bubble short works. Basically bubble short works by the two factors, by the two things are involved in, in, in the working of this bubble short, compare and swap. If the given array has to be shorted in ascending order, then bubble short will start by comparing the first element of the array with the second element. If the first element is greater than the second element, it will swap both the elements and then move on to compare the second and third element and so on. If, if anybody have a total number of and elements then he must need to repeat the process for n minus 1 times. Let's see the steps involved in bubble shorting process. In the bubble short basically the three main steps are involved to short a given array of data. The first step, in the first step, it start with the first element and compare the first or current element with the next element of the array. In the second step, if the current element is greater than the next element of the array, it swap them. And in the third step, if the current element is less than the next element, it moves to the next element and repeat step 1. The sorting process. Let's consider an array with value 1, 7, 5 and 4. Here we have a pictorial representation of how bubble short will short a given array. Here the first pass is shown in this diagrammatic representation. In the first pass, the first pair which has to be compared is 1 and 7. Here the algorithm compares the first two elements since 
these two elements are already in order as 7 is greater than 1 algorithm does not swap them where is in the next pair which is 7 and 5 here algorithm compares the next two elements and swap them since 7 is greater than 5 and in the third pair which is 7 and 4 the algorithm compares these two elements and swap since 7 is larger than 4 so finally after the first pass we got a sequence of 1 5 4 and 7 in the second pass the result of first pass which is 1 5 4 and 7 is again compared the first two elements the first two elements are 1 and 5 here the algorithm compares since these two elements are already in order as 5 is greater than 1 algorithm does not swap them in the second pair which is 5 and 4 here the algorithm compares these two elements up and swap since 5 is greater than 4 and the third pair which is 5 and 7 here the algorithm compares these two elements and does not swap because they are already in order so after second pass we got a sequence of 1 4 5 and 7 now uh, as you can see that the array is completely shorted but the algorithm does not know if it is completed the algorithm needs one whole pass without any swap to know it is shorted so in the third pass it is start with a sequence 1 4 5 and 7 in the first pair the algorithm compares and does not swap them in the second pair which is 4 and 5 algorithm again compares and does not swap and the next pair will be 5 and 7 the algorithm compares and does not swap and finally it it forms a sequence or shorted sequence which is 1, 4, 5 and 7 after third pass. Let's see the advantages and limitations of the bubble shot. The main advantage of bubble shot is its simplicity. It is a simple and stable shorting algorithm. But there are some limitations as we can see that this simple algorithm performs poorly in actual problems with, with when we have to compare the actual array of data this algorithm performs poorly. Bubble short can effectively process only a small array of data. It should be avoided in case of large collection of data or large array of data because it takes uh, a longer time to array all these elements. The next limitation is it will not be efficient in the case of reverse ordered collection. Bubble short also interacts poorly with modern CPU and hardware. In addition of all this limitation, a major limitation is that some elements in uh, shorting process, some elements move comparatively slower and some elements move comparatively faster. When an element that must move towards the end of the list can move 
quickly because it can take part in successive swaps as we have already seen in the uh, discussed examples. And if the smallest element is at the end of the list, it will take n minus 1 process to move it to the beginning. So we can say some elements move faster and some elements move comparatively slower. These are the limitations. Let's see the application. The basic application of bubble short is to short or to arrange the elements. However, as we have already seen, there are so many limitations. Bubble sort is uh, uh, nowadays not much useful for short sorting purpose. There are other algorithms which are much more useful compared to bubble short. Even then, there are some application of this bubble short as in computer graphics. In computer graphics, bubble short is popular for its capability to detect very small errors. And second, in academic purpose. Due to the simplicity of bubble short algorithm, it is often used to introduce the concept of an algorithm or a sorting algorithm to introductory computer science students. These are the same applications of bubble sort.